Hey, hey, how's everybody doing out there? Welcome back to another episode of God Concept Podcast. I'm your host, Mr. Pagan. Back at you live and direct. <laughs> like my man King Erna would say, live and direct. How you doing, man? Yeah, man. Just out here chilling, enjoying the day. You know what I mean? Enjoying weather, enjoying life. You know, life going to take you to a lot of negative places. Life going to give you a bad hand at times. You just got to figure out a way how to deal with it, man. You just got to figure out a way to not allow negativ- negativity to make you negative. You know what I mean? Life is hard as it is for all of us living life. Life is hard enough as it is. And we just can't get affected by the negative shit that's out here. You know what I mean? Especially us as, um, I don't want to just call us melanated people because we mixed. You know what I mean? I was just saying this yesterday about some paperwork that I was filling out. I feel like, it, it feel weird. That little section on the paperwork where it asks you whether you're black, whether you're Native American, whether you're Hispanic, whether you're Caucasian, whatever the case may be, I feel funny about filling that section out because um, I'm mixed. I'm mixed with all of those things. I'm I'm Irish, I'm Native American, and I'm Cuban. So, you know what I mean? Like, where where do I fit in that? They don't have a box to check for that. You know what I mean? They don't have that box. When they have multiple race box, I pick that one. You know what I mean? More than one, more than one race, I pick that box. But us as people in general, man, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to classify us or break us down into, into different groups. I apologize. I'm, I don't got no tripod or nothing. I'm holding this joint with my hand, getting this podcast off. But I don't want to, I don't want to break us down into groups or factions or you know what I mean, different denominations. We're all people, you know what I mean? We're all people. We're all having this human experience, right? We're living this life. We have things that we were meant to do in this life. A lot of us are lost because we're not doing the things that we were called to do with our life. We're not doing the things that we were meant to do with our life. So we're going to remain lost. We're going to remain lost because we're not, you know what I mean? You're going to remain lost. And, and the more you remain lost, the more negative you'll get. The more negative it'll make you because you're not living in your truth. You're not living your calling. Some of us lean towards our own understanding. And and you know what I mean? We, we do the things like, like we want to do it. We do things the way we want to do it. We do the things, you know what I mean? We, we give people our attitude. We want everybody to do it. We, wanna, we want them to do right then and there, right now. And it's like, you can't take that approach to anybody in any situation. You got to understand that life is going to test you in every aspect of it. In every aspect of life, you're going to be tested. Your patience, your emotions, uh, how, how, how well you can bounce back from setbacks, you know, how you process Things that you go through in your everyday life, you know. I'm going through situations in my life right now, but I still maintain a level of positivity because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna allow my negative uh, any anything that's that's going on negative in my life, which is just basically a stepping stone for me. Negativity is just a hurdle for me to get over. You know what I mean? Any situation is just another obstacle for me to get over. You know, that's how I take it. You know, um, I'm glad I take it that way because I could take it a lot of other ways. And I have taken it a lot of other ways because I'm a human being. I think I have a thought process. So I think and I, you know what I mean? It's just, you know. When you realize 
when you realize that we all need each other at times, when you realize that, you know, you're going to go through a lot of shit in your life. Your one goal is this. Don't let it change who you are. Don't let the things you go through change you for the worse. You know what I mean? A lot of people, they, they, um, they go through hardships. And then they start to put up this, uh, this fake facade. You know what I mean? They start to put up this like tough guy, bravado or whatever, maybe for a female or whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, you're going to go through a lot of things. You got to remain the person that you were the day you got here. You know what I mean? If you're not being authentic to that, then you're not being yourself. You're not being true to you. You know what I mean? And that's, you know, being true to you, staying on your mission, knowing what it is that you want to do with your life. You know what I mean? When you have, when you have that, Pardon me. Yeah, but when you have that inclination that you have something to do with your life, you know what I mean? That you got a, a, a certain path to take in your life. You can't let anybody get in the way of that path. You got so many people out here that will say they love you, but really they, they, get, in the path, they get in the way of your path. You know, sometimes they do it intentionally. Sometimes they do it unintentionally because a lot of us are used and moved around out here. A lot of you don't, a lot of you haven't been so close to the people that handle that type of, I can't even say it. I can't even, trust me, you know, a, a lot of moving pieces are out here. You know what I mean? Everything is manipulated. Everything is controlled. You know what I mean? Um, for example, Little Dirt going to jail, Right over a so-called, um, um, you know, um, hit attempt or whatever like this, you know, for, for, the, uh, for the other guy's cousin or something like this, right? The whole thing is they want these guys, they want, they want our rappers, our musicians, and everybody to keep, continue to kill each other. It's a vicious trap. It's a vicious cycle. You know, each level got his own pitfalls and, and traps. You know what I mean? It, it's like, even when you were, you know, person just living your life, got a regular nine to five, you got your pitfalls and traps. The bigger you are, the bigger you get, the more you accumulate, the bigger the pitfall and trap. You'll never make it anywhere without, you know what I mean? It's like this. Stop doing negative shit. If you're a person trying to get ahead, trying to do what's right, just do what's right. Even if you're doing right, watch out for people around you that's not doing right. Because they can turn your right into a wrong. They can turn something that you're doing right and make it look wrong because you're doing something right and they're doing something. And you're guilty by association. You know what I mean? Oh, they're, they're a bad person, so he... So, you know, he got to be a bad person. It's like, it's like, all right, why would they put it out there in the news that they want to, uh, that, that, that this is happening? Because now all that's going to do is make the other guy retaliate against somebody in Little Dirk's family, right? She has a vicious cycle. It's just going to keep tip for tat. It's just going to keep going on and on and on. One guy going to do something to this guy. Somebody going to do something to that guy. Some guy going to do something. It just keeps going on and on. When does it stop? When does it stop? You got to stop the negativity. You got to stop the negativity. You know what I mean? For all our people, especially our black and our brown people. You know what I mean? I, I don't like using black and brown, but for, for, for the sake of example, yeah, our black and our brown people, man, we got to stop with the negativity. You know what I mean? We got to be more together, man. We got to be more understanding. And not only that, when you see somebody going through something, man, help them out. 
try to help them out to the best of your ability. But when you see injustice b- being done to each other on a on a on a grand level, like even injustice that you might not understand, try to look into it. Don't don't be so quick to dismiss what a person's going through, thinking that somebody else is going to look into it for them. Don't think that a person is going through something and they got somebody else there for them, so you're not going to help them out. You're going to be like, no, they're going to be all right. They got somebody in their corner because they might not have nobody in their corner to really help them out. So when you see them going through something and they posting their messages on Facebook and Instagram and all of that shit, look into the messages. Look into what they posting. Because people be posting hints about what they going through and shit like that. It's like uh, a lot of women, before something happened to them with their boyfriend, a lot of them post their arguments online. A lot of them post all this shit, the whole disagreement online. So you know what they going through. You know what it's leading to. Nip that shit in the bud before it happened. You know what I mean? Women don't deserve to get killed by a jealous guy. Men don't deserve to be set up by no hateful, maniacal bitch. Period. Men don't deserve to be set up by no women, and, and, and women don't deserve to be set up by no no uh no no men. It's like it's like dudes is killing women for being unfaithful and setting them up and shit like that, right? And women is just setting niggas up and being unfaithful. Doing the same thing. And and and, and women is killing niggas. For the same shit. Women is killing niggas for the same shit. For the same shit. Because they cheating. They being unfaithful. They stealing the woman's shit. Like, come on, man. If, if it's going to be like that, just break ties with each other. You got to stop it. Stop trying to get each other back. Stop trying to hang in there. If it's toxic, let it go. If it's toxic, let it go. Seriously. I got so many toxic relationships in my life, it's ridiculous, you know what I mean, and it's like, I let them all go, family, I don't care, I don't care who you are, if it's toxic, I let it go, and if it, if it becomes untoxic, you know, we can still be cordial, and, and you know what I mean, but I'm not, I'm not going to be around a person that's toxic, you know what I mean, if you, if you spew a negativity my way, especially when I'm going through something, Especially when I'm going through something. You know what I mean? If somebody's going through something, you got to miss a person with the bullshit. You got to miss a person with the, it could have been, and it should have been, and it would have been, and what is not, and what it, what it you know what I mean? You got to miss a person with that. You know what I mean? You already start to build stuff up and start to, you know what I mean? Start to add shit up yourself. You know what I mean? Especially me. I'm a calculated type of person. I'll add everything up. You know what I mean? That's how I know my situation is not no coincidence. Because I add everything up. My situation ain't a coincidence at all. You know what I mean? And I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give y'all this, right, for y'all to think about. A lot of y'all situations aren't coincidences at all. There's nothing coincidental about it. I've been saying this in in previous podcasts, but if you take and you really add everything up, nothing is coincidental about your life. You might not know who's, you might not know who's making shit coincide with each other, but it's not a coincidence that things are coinciding with each other. That's all I'm going to say. I just happen to have had a close encounter with people who make shit happen, who make things coincide with each other. I'm going to put it like that. I had close encounters with people who make things coincide with each other. You got people that do evil shit here, man, and you got to be aware of that. 
That's why I'm saying that you got to block the negative shit. You got to block it. The negative shit in your mind. The negative shit in your heart. The negative shit in your soul. You got to let it go. Even if it was negativity that was done to you. Forgive. Right? Don't forget. Not like that that, like that old dumbass show, Forgive and Forget. No, you never forget. Forgive because forgiveness is ultimately for you, right? Forgiveness helps you move on and helps you process and helps you grow. You know what I mean? You got to forgive, but you never forget because then you're doomed to make the same mistake again. You know what I mean? Or if you forget, you'll let this person back into your life who hurt you in so many different ways and hurt you in different ways. Why does the earth be shaking right here? Like it's an earthquake or something right up underneath you. Like I, it's like the seismic activity that's been going on in Philadelphia has been fucking crazy, man. The earth be shaking out of nowhere. You be like, where the, why the fuck is the ground shaking? Like what, is something about to pop out the fucking ground or something? Like seriously, this shit be crazy, man. Tell me, in these days and times, you gotta be, you gotta, you gotta be aware that you got forces at work, and they do things to manipulate your mind and your spirit, your emotions. They'll take a sane person and make them feel like they're crazy, man. They'll take a sane person and make them feel like they're crazy. You know, they'll take a healthy man and make him unhealthy. Everything that we're doing out here is just, it's sad. It's sad. You got to watch the way you eat. You got to watch, you got to watch what you take in, period. Because even the food is negative. I was looking at a brother earlier, man. And, um, you know, I, you know, I seen him yesterday, and, um, you know, he didn't eat dinner or whatever. So I'm like, all right, whatever, okay. Got up this morning, you know what I mean? Same place, no breakfast. He ain't eat breakfast, I'm like, you know, but he dropped something, he dropped something heavy on me. He said uh, that food is just like a, a distraction for something that's, that's missing. Like you, you just feeling, you know what I mean? You're just doing it to fulfill. That's it. You know what I mean? And he's absolutely right. You know, he, I probably didn't say it in the best way, but a lot of times we fill a voids in our life with food, with drama, with bullshit, with this and that. Not understanding that, you know, it's all a distraction. We put in distractions in our own way. We put more and more distractions in our own way. The relationships that we cultivate with people. It's like sometimes what for? Why you want to be in that relationship with some ass? Why you want to be in that relationship with some dick? Like, is it really worth it that much? You could have put that time and energy into something else, something more positive, something that didn't take away. Because a lot of us, we look at, we, we weigh our pros and cons differently. You know what I mean? You would spend money on a, on, on someone, you know, because you looking at the pros, you like, damn, I'm going to get the fuck, right? I'm, I'm going to get, you know, we going to get down. You know what I mean? But the cons is, you don't waste your time, your energy, your resources, and possibly, um have a child with this person and um, introduce another distraction into your life. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with having children and everything. But if you just out here, you know, fucking unprotected and you having babies, bringing babies into this world that you can't take care of, that's a burden you're putting upon yourself. I mean, the state don't care too much because either way, 
The birth certificate alone is worth a million dollars. That baby is worth something. You know, that soul is worth something. Physically, that human being is worth something. Monetarily, money-wise, soul-wise, everything, that, that child is worth something. So, it's like, for you, you just gave yourself a burden. But for the state, you gave them something to hold over your head even more. You gave them more uh more money basically because every person born is a million bucks off rip and then after that they just start to accumulate more and more wealth but you'll never see it unless you go through the proper protocols and channels so but yeah man just stay positive you know um stay positive you know don't feed into the negative bullshit. Because it's so easy to do. It's so easy to do. We lash out at the wrong people. We lash out at anybody for any fucking thing. Just can't do it. Plus, it's part of the trap. It's part of the trap. Whenever you start acting like a human being, they treat you like an animal. Whenever you start acting like you have feelings and emotions and you have rights, they treat you like an animal. Right? So what's the what's the use of getting emotional? What's the use of getting emotional? You got to learn how to do... How, how, see, our people have to learn how to do paperwork. Paperwork saves you from all of the emotion. Like channel all the energy that you have in those emotions channel that into paperwork just raw uncut paperwork you know the best friend that you could ever have is a lawyer on your side or something like that because that's what they use against you that's what they used against me that's what they used against my family lawyers you know lawyers and you know organizations and shit like that, you know, different connections and stuff like that, old plans coming together and shit like that, that's the type of stuff they use on us, you know, I forgot where I was going because I started getting into my stuff, but yeah, man, your emotions is how they get you, you know what I mean, whenever you get emotional out here, you got to hit the ass, even the cops, when the cops fucking with you, do not get emotional. Get your lawyers on the ass. I wish I would have got my lawyers on Eastern, 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 Eastern District detectives who fucked my shoulder up. You know what I mean? Arresting me and everything. You know what I mean? Then help had me in a holding cell with fucking handcuffs on. When you're in a holding cell, you ain't supposed to have no handcuffs on. They got you in a holding cell with handcuffs on. Then you're not resisting the arrest. They just want to grab you and hem you the fuck up. I mean, to make you resist so they could do whatever they, whatever it is that they want to do, use whatever tactics they want to use on you. That's what it's all about. You know what I mean? Because they already outnumber you, right? So ain't nobody in their right mind going to sit up there and resist who's already outnumbered. You already outnumbered, so why would you resist, right? Unless you think you could take them. Unless you could think, unless you think you could take three, four, uh, cops at one at one time then why would you resist right so boom then they start hemming you up start pushing you around so you start resisting a little bit because you feel resistance anybody that feel resistance is going to give resistance then they telling you stop resisting you like i'm not fucking resisting you 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 fucking manhandling me you know what i mean and this is what they do to us you know and it's a vicious cycle that they use then you, you, you know, your, your adrenaline's pumping, your emotions going, your mind's racing, all of this is going on, and you in warrior mode, and they like, yeah, be in warrior mode, because that's how we going to get your ass to get locked the fuck up. When they make certain phone calls to you and shit like that, when situations come up, take it easy. I'm telling you, I'm telling you people, take it easy, because they'll have your ass hemmed up out here. 
And you know what they say, trouble is easy to get into, but it's hard to get out of. And that's how they want it. It's designed that way. It's designed that way. Paper genocide is what our ancestors went through. Paper genocide is what we still going through today. Paper genocide. Paper genocide and slavery is like this. Hand in hand. Paper genocide and slavery is like this. Hand in hand. And the ones that know about it is the ones that keep the system in place, that keeps the status quo, that keeps everything coinciding, that keeps coincidences going, that keep the coincidences going, that keep you feeling like you crazy, that keep you feeling like you trapped, and keep you feeling like you just here. You know what I mean? So, just be mindful, man. I don't want to blow y'all eardrums out and talk too much and all this other shit, but I just wanted to get that message up, man. Sometimes I just feel like a message is just needed, and I got to give it up, man. This is my podcast. You know, I'm just looking to, I'm looking to get a space. You know, I already got everything going and everything. I just need a space for my recording and everything. Right now, my podcast is like this because... This is how I feel. I'm more at peace right now. So, I record my podcast in nature. Something, a nature, a natural space, you know. Semi-natural space. But I want a studio space to record the music, to record the podcast, to write the books and things like this. To keep everything going, you know. To follow the republic for which it stands, right? To the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, right? It's the republic, right? Not a democracy. It's not supposed to be a democracy. We live in a republic. But what do we do? What do you have? You know? We surround ourselves. Everything is backwards. Everything is backwards. I don't know if you... I don't know if if anybody noticed, but everything is literally backwards. It's like... You know that Democrats are responsible for the KKK and everything. You know that Sorry about that. But you know that that Democrats don't do nothing but pacify you. And I mean, don't get me wrong. Every now and then, people need help. You know, don't get me wrong. There'll there'll still be a welfare system. There'll still be a shelter. There'll still be um, Medicare, Medicaid, and all that stuff. You know, if there was just Republican, just one party, there would still be all of those infrastructure things. You know, Republicans are about being entrepreneurs, about building something in your own. I like it, me personally. You know what I mean? That's why I'm doing, you know, I'm going to get my shit the right way. You know what I mean? I'm going to get it the right way. I'm going to build my own. So that way nobody can ever tear down what I build again. You know? Well, that's the end of my episode. I just wanted to, you know, touch base, and just do a podcast. I was hesitating earlier, so I just said, you know what, fuck it, let me sit down, make this episode, get it done with, yeah, and I got to return some calls, so thank you all for joining me for this episode of God Concept Podcast, I'm your host, Mr. Quinnan, stay positive, avoid the negativity, peace.